Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about resetting instant component changes. The most obvious way would be to right click a component and select reset all changes. But there are two other ways which will allow us to only reset some properties of our instant component. So firstly, let's get into resetting all instance changes. So in my workspace, I have a base component, which is our primary component. You can see it's primary because it has the four diamonds. I'm going to go ahead and create this disabled button. So I'm going to change the text to disabled. I'm going to go ahead and make that color into this dark gray. And then the fill of this button, I want it to be this light gray. And to reset all changes, you would just go right click, reset all changes. Now we can learn how to reset an element in the component. So what you would have to do is deep select an element and then you can go right click, reset all changes. So let's go into this artboard. Again, I've recreated this disabled button. So we can deep select the text by holding down the command key. I'm going to left click. Now you can see in my layers panel, I've only selected that text layer and I can go right click, reset all changes. So this is really handy when you want to reset only one element in your component, but I am unable to reset only the fill of this button. So if I go undo, there is no way for me to deep select that button pill because it's part of the entire component. So the only way I could do it is reset all changes. The best way to actually reset any of your properties of your instant component is by using the properties panel on the right hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and select this disabled button. In the right hand side, we can see our instance properties. So we have our swap instance property here. We can go to the main component or we can open the instance options. So I'm going to click on this. And you can see now I can reset the fill. So this is a really handy tool to see all the properties that have changed with your instance component and being able to reset them. A good example would be, let's say I've got in a primary button and I've recreated it. So here's a duplicate. It's an instance component. And let's say you've stretched it out, but you were like, oh, actually, no, I want it to revert it back to my primary component. So you're thinking, okay, let me just bring it back and hopefully that reconnects it. So now if I move my main, you can see it's no longer attached by size. So since you've made that change, you can go ahead and click on this instance component, click on the instance options here, and you can reset the size, which will now let me attach that instance back with the main component, which is really cool. You can also see there are a lot of options that you can reset. So you can't reset an exact property, uh, but you can reset a general category. So for example, effects, fills, stroke, and size, really handy. And the only thing you need to note is you can only reset the properties of that layer. So what does that mean? So if I'm in the base component, you can see how the text uh, has changed. So this is the main component. So the text has changed and the color has changed. So when I select that base component and I select these instance options, there's nothing I can really do except reset all changes. So let me just go undo. So what you need to do is you want to make sure you select that element. So I'm going to have to deep select again. So holding down the command key, left click, I'm selecting that text layer. Now it will show me the changes I can make with that text layer. So again, instance options, and now I have the option to reset the fill or reset the text. So now I've reset the fill and I've reset the text. This is such a handy trick to know to help you build complex design systems. If you know someone that doesn't know this trick, either send them to this video or just show them how to do it. But that's all for now. Stay hydrated, take a break, rest your eyes, and I'll see you all next time.